Hi, I'm Chris Mooney. Recently, scientists at the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii made a pretty disturbing observation. They found that atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide have now reached 400 parts per million. I'm here now with one of the nation's leading climate scientists, Michael Mann of Penn State University, to talk about what this means. So 400 parts per million. How much should we care? We have to go back at least four million years in Earth history to find CO2 concentrations that were that high in the past. Uh, the last time CO2 was elevated at this level um, for a sustained period of time, uh, the globe was several degrees warmer. Maybe there was a period about 6,000 years ago uh, for you know, a few centuries where it was about as warm as it is today. We are engaged in an unprecedented experiment. We are changing the composition of the atmosphere in ways the Earth has never seen before. And that 400 ppm uh, number uh, emphasizes just how uh, rapidly we are changing. And we did it in 200 years. Basically. We did it in 200 years. Nature takes tens of millions of years to change CO2 concentrations. We are essentially elevating those concentrations a million times faster than nature varied in the past. We're on our way to 450 ppm. Okay. Uh, we'll be there in a matter of decades if we can continue with business as usual, uh, fossil fuel burning, other human activities that are elevating the concentrations of CO2 in the atmosphere. What, is, what does this mean? What can we expect to see happen because of this? Massive melting of ice sheets, massive sea level rise. Uh, so we actually have to get CO2 back down. We can still avoid crossing that threshold. Uh, but there isn't a whole lot of time. It's a lot more difficult to get the genie back in the bottle. Uh, it's a reminder of how unprecedented this uh, dangerous experiment that we're playing with the Earth really is. Okay. Well, Mike Mann, thanks so much for helping us uh, unpack and understand this troubling Th Thank you, Chris.